It all began with this, a Dennis the Menace cartoon. Dennis, what are you painting? A picture of God. But no one knows what God looks like. They will now. When I first saw that cartoon a number of years ago, I realized it could be a great tool for helping young adults begin to think and talk about how they imagine God. And a couple of weeks ago in the video, I provided an invitation to all of you to send me your pictures or video or thoughts about how you would draw God. And I shared with you my picture. Here, my picture of God is thinking about Jesus saying, the kingdom of God is among you. The kingdom of God is in your midst. And I think that God will be fully present in that moment when all of God's children can look around the circle and recognize one another as sisters and brothers. So for today, that's my picture of God. Sarah sent me this picture and wrote, When I see bright sunshine coming through the clouds, I feel it is God reaching out to me to thank him for another day. Thank you, Sarah. And Betsy sent me this picture and wrote, I have never agreed with the idea that God does not change. To me, he is always changing. My pictures represent three ways I see God. I picture him as a shadow. The first is just the shadow my feet would make if the sun was directly over. This shadow is God supporting me. The second is an elongated shadow of my body, such as would happen in the late afternoon. If I am made in the image of God, then this is me made even bigger and better with God in my life. The third is the shadow of God with me in times of trouble. It cannot be seen, but I know it is there. Thank you, Betsy. And Jean sent me this. Marcus Borg spoke of Jesus as being what God looks like in a man. Not the sappy pictures, but that character of Jesus reflects or is the character of God. And that character is feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, taking care of the sick, and visiting those in prison. So imagine a picture of a man doing those things, and that would be the picture I would draw if I could draw. Thank you, Jean. And Shodi sent me this picture. God is a part of the person you see in this mirror. God is within each of us. It is up to us how we live our lives that determines whether or not other people can see God in us. Thank you, Shodi. And Maya sent me this picture and wrote, I wasn't sure what I was going to draw, but the first image that came to my mind was a great tree of life. After that, I drew a canopy of stars, and then some little birds, and then roses, and leaves, and more stars, and little animals. And then, under one side of the tree of life, I imagined an ocean wave with swimming fish, and starfish, and seashells, and snails. And then my eyes focused up into the sky. I drew the sun and Saturn and a crescent moon and an owl. And then I thought we need a human somewhere, so I drew a little person who is full of love and joy. The little person is standing in front of a waterfall in the happy company of a friendly deer, a little turtle, a frog, and a little bunny. There is a rainbow over the waterfall and two little honeybees above the rainbow. One last thought, for me, entering the kingdom of heaven as little children means living in a state of wonder and joyful amazement at the beauty and mystery of all that God has created. A living and constantly changing, eternal and glorious, mystical, natural world, which provides for us 
in every possible way. Thank you, Maya. And then there's this video. Go. Hi, Paul. Uh, Vita Lion here. When I first read about your challenge, I thought, well, nobody knows what God looks like, so how could I possibly draw that? Um, to me, you know, God was is a spirit, otherworldly, maybe antimatter or something. We'll hopefully find out later. But then I thought, well, I can draw what this sort of symbolizes to me. So I did. So what I've drawn here is the heart, the large heart is, an, is all encompassing love. God is all encompassing love, but then I didn't, wasn't happy with any boundaries on God. So a couple of things kind of spill over to show that concept. So what I have here um, are things that are encompassed in God's love. And that's, uh, well, here's the sea and the creatures in the sea and animals, animals that's supposed to be a cow, animals that give us uh, sustenance of some kind, um, palm trees, apple trees, of course, you know, things that give us food, deserts, the sun, that could be the sunrise or the sunset, but each new day of hope and so forth. Um, mountains, bugs, I've included the universe, because it's all part of what's encompassed by God, um, animals, flowers, etc. cetera. Um, in the heart of this are humans and mankind. And the humans are connected to everything here in some way. And God's love emanates from humans to take care of other people, um, children and, and so forth. Care, love that, that human beings give to all of these gifts and hopefully we take care of them, right? And but mostly to God's other people. So that's it. Thank you. My name is Paul Alcorn. And this reminder, if you have a favorite Bible verse, please send it to me. I will be sharing our favorite Bible verses next week. This week's reflection has been brought to you by the members and friends of the Second Congregational Church in Londonderry, Vermont.